It is 948 on this Saturday. Strap on your ear goggles and get ready to imagine it with the chief scientist from the Imagination Station, Carl Nelson. What are you doing here? We're talking about sound. I mean, you've probably heard about Apple and Beats and the headphone oh, thing yeah, and all yeah. that. Right. And it got me thinking about how whether it's headphones or earbuds or ginormous speakers like this, they all work on the same basic science. Ginormous is a scientific term. It is, absolutely. Um, <laughs> so this is a medium-sized ginormous speaker here that I've cut apart and removed the cone from, okay? Right. Because the way speakers work is there's a permanent magnet on the back. That's the thing that, you know, we might stick to your refrigerator. And there's a tiny, tiny little coil inside. This is an electromagnet. Okay, that Got little gold, that coppery stuff there. That's what we send the signal through. The uh, current flows through that, turns it into an electromagnet that'll either attract or repel, probably this way, attract or repel to this, the permanent magnet. Now I'm sort of okay. having flashbacks here because it doesn't seem like speakers have advanced all that much since the 70s hey, or if 60s. It works, if it works, don't mess with it, right? Yeah, so, I guess not. <laughs> okay, so Tony, go ahead and grab this. A right. big uh, battery here, and we're gonna send some current through this speaker. And if we just sort of, we can make it repel or we can make it attract. Okay, so if we send a current through that electromagnet, it'll move up and down. It's probably hard to see, so that's why I brought the balls hey. here. Throw and, pop. <laughs> and so if we, if we do this, you can hear the sound <laughs> as the model air molecules move back and forth, right? And that's basically how a speaker works. Now, I thought that's kind of cool, but let's have you make the world's simplest speaker in like 10 seconds. Oh, sure. Okay? So I got a piece of cardboard here. Go ahead and hold the cardboard. Got it. Piece of copper foil. In fact, I'll hold the cardboard. You peel the adhesive backing off. Will do. Okay, don't let it curl up on itself. Uh. I want you to lay down a straight line on this piece of cardboard. I'll try. All the I'll way help. across, right? Yep. Does it matter in Doesn't which direction? Matter what, yeah, this looks okay. like a good direction right there. So you can do this Perfect. with your graduation cap today, folks. You probably could. Look at that. This is a speaker. Although, we're missing a couple things, right? One, I need you to hold this really, really strong magnet. I have connected up my iPhone to an amplifier and then also to these wires which are connected to this coil. Okay. So I'm gonna start playing some music, and you probably can't hear anything because we need the current to interact with the magnet. So bring the magnet a little bit closer. Does it matter which side? No. Yeah? Can you hear that? It's really kind of faint. Yeah. So it's really hard to see. What's happening is the current in here is attracting and repelling against that magnet, and it's causing the whole piece of cardboard to vibrate. So. Let's step it up one more notch. I made a more elaborate version oh, of that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I wanted you to have fun actually making one, though. But Now, this one is just a really big, flat coil. So bring the magnet closer to this one. All right. Wow. Really close. Definitely can hear that. Wow, I can, I can feel the pulsating as well. You can yeah. feel it. So go ahead and move it around. So depending on where you put the magnet, or if we take it away, it goes, yeah. it comes back. Nice. It's amazing how well that works with that just a cool. little foil of copper on the paper. And you have to make a fun design, too. Well, and what this does is actually sort of concentrates the magnetic field, much like the coil inside the speaker, so that it gets stronger, so we can have better interaction with the magnetic field from the permanent magnet. Wow, that's cool. And it's entertaining as well. All it right. Is. Well, hey, let's uh, take you out here and show you what's happening down at the Imagination Station. These are the times. If you want to go down there, they are open today at One Discovery Way. It's Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 5, Sunday from noon to 5. Carl Nelson, thanks very much for bringing your jam session along. <laughs> he's, a, <laughs> he's a stereo and, a, and just a, a couple of junk tools to put together, and boom, Absolutely. party in a box. Cool. Thanks very much, Carl. Carl, that's this week's Imagine It. Now we're turning it over to Dave with sports.